Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well. So I wrote this journal entry on May 3rd, 2023 at 10.52 p.m. I'm about to watch another episode of Friends, a show many people have assured me is overrated. It's not as if I don't see how a person could think it's overrated. There's probably groups of people out there who talk so highly of the show that it pales in comparison to its reputation. But I was told the show was overrated so much that when I finally sat down to watch it for myself, I thought, this is a really good show. Why do people hate on have to hate on harmless things so much? I decided to write about Friends because I've almost finished season five and I'll be halfway through the show, which means after this, I'll have, worked, I'll have watched more of the show for the first time than I'll have left to finish for the first time. The show Friends has meant so much to me these past few months because people talk so much of a breakup album or a loved one's death grieving book or a friendship movie or something they do or watch or read or experience that either helps them through a hard time or adds positivity to an already good time. Well, the show Friends has been that for the first time in my life that has been singlehood. It's something that has added richness to what has truly been an already great experience for me these past several months. It's something I typically watch alone with my bottle of wine and a blanket with my cat purring right next to me, laughing and being so utterly engrossed in the lives of these six fictional characters. It sounds cheesy and I'm okay with it if it is, but I feel sometimes as if I'm the sixth friend, sitting there laughing and enjoying everything these characters have gone through together, seeing a part of me in each one of them. I know one day I'm going to look back on this time in my life and think, you know, I was really happy then. I truly enjoyed my own company. I'm really glad I learned to be happy alone. And hopefully, even if I'm with someone then, I can still be happy alone. And I think now that I've done it, I'll be less scared to have alone time in a relationship. Many people express their sadness that they can never watch or read something for the first time again. For me, that's Harry Potter, amongst other things. But I have a feeling this show is going to be another one of those things for me. Something I may watch again, but know that, bittersweet as it is, I can never watch it for the first time again. But... I can right now. I still have five seasons left. What a rare opportunity this is to appreciate something while I still have it. What a nice realization to be able to live in the moment of a unique experience for me. Hopefully in the future, I may be interrupted by a cat. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully in the future, I'm not interrupted by a cat. Hopefully in the future, I'll appreciate the show if I rewatch it. After all, if you think about it, it won't be the same person watching it. Not if I've done anything right. I'll just know what happens is all. But hopefully I still appreciate it. Only a fool thinks something isn't worth pursuing just because they know how it ends. Anyhow. Anywho, I think I've said enough on the subject for now. I've got a show to watch. So the, the journal entry speaks for itself for the most part. I'm actually on season nine now and I feel the same way about it. Um, and all I have to say is I, wanted, I wanna make this video so that one day I'm in a relationship and I look back on this and there's any doubt in her mind that she learned to be happy alone you did you did